Brotherton's class. It's me, Mrs. Fecto, and I'm here to do a screencast that's going to uh, allow you to remember what we talked about when you came down to the library. So um, I'm going to try to use some of your search terms for your research project to, um, to show you the tools that are available to you uh, through the BHS library and the great beyond. So um, we start as always at BHS online and um, if you want to get to the library site you will go to about our school and then it's libraries under that and library resources is what you want. So once you click on that you get to the very unattractive website. The first uh, tab here is access the catalog here. That's how you're going to find books um, in, from the BHS library. Now don't forget that Beverly Public Library has two branches. There's the Farms branch and the Downtown branch. You can also use Endicott College, Gordon College, um, uh, Montserrat if, you're, if your search is <laughs> somewhat artsy, and Salem State. All of those um, colleges and universities allow anybody with a Beverly Public Library card to use their resources and they have some databases that you can access there that are terrific. Um, and they have reference librarians who can help you. So I would urge you um, to, uh, you know, get out of your comfort zone a little and try those. All right, but here at BHS, we also have a few books. So um, let's look at uh, somebody's covering the Columbine shooting. So we'll use Columbine. And we're going to click on that now. Who knows what we're going to get? It says we've got 11 results. That's actually a pretty good... Um, Result for Beverly High School, Columbine High School shooting, student violence, no easy answers. This was a very interesting book. Okay, this is probably, to Poetry for the Earth is probably talking about the flower, Columbine. I don't know what Anthony Robbins is doing here. Guys and Guns Amok, this is a larger look at um, domestic terrorism and school shootings. That's some fiction. Those are some essays. This is, good lord, a middle-aged lady book. So not everything that you're going to... Um, be that's going to come up is going to work for you. If you wanted to narrow this, if you put in shooting, you're probably only going to, yeah, see now you're down to two and actually um, no easy answers didn't show up in this one. So um, we're going to go back there. So let's just look at that because this is pretty much the definitive um, look at Columbine. Um, it says that we've got it. Here's the number and you should by this point know how to find books on the shelf. You uh, look at the end cap and it'll give you the first three numbers. Then when you get into the stacks uh, it bumps out by the decimal points and if there are a lot of like if you're looking at um, 973 which is the general number for American history there's you know probably 130 books with that number so you're going to want to oh look bro like miss brotherton although she did not watch this uh, write this book all right so you click on that and this will give you all of the information that you're going to need for your citation i don't know if you use a citation builder or if you're um you know putting them together yourself Every time you're doing a search um, for information on your topic, you should just copy and paste this to a Google Doc or to some form so that you've got it. Even if you don't use it, you don't go to the shelf, you've got that it's a resource that you have access to so that later you can determine whether or not you want to use it. Um, all of these say available. Occasionally, um, and we have two copies, so it's super available. Occasionally, it'll say um, items out. If the item is out and you still want it, come find me because we don't use due dates. At the, I mean, there are due dates. You're supposed to have it for three weeks. But the rule is you keep it until you're done with it and then return it. But if someone else needs that book, then I'll go find you and say, hey, you know, you got two days to finish up with this because someone else, you've had it for, you know, a month and a half and somebody else needs it. All right. You should also know how to check out books at the library. There is a clipboard on the circulation desk and you use the little, um, there's a number in the back of the book that's either six or 13 digits. And you just put that down with your name and the title and I'll put it into the computer later. All right, so those are books. That's pretty easy. Um, you should remember, hopefully, how to use the databases. There's a link here to access the databases. Um, for your purposes, you may want to go... Um, the easiest one to use, frankly, is Gale History and Context U.S. History. But there are other ones that might work for you. If you're doing, I'm trying to think if there's uh, maybe the Sedition Acts. Military and Intelligence is a a specific um, database. 
uh, gender studies, environment, economics and theory, diversity studies, criminal justice. So some of these are very specific databases that you can explore on your own. There's a general search, which I don't love because I think it's very general, but there are a couple like Ingram versus Wright, I-N-G-R-A-J-M, Wright. Okay, we're going to see if uh, what comes up for that, because it's kind of, you couldn't use something like John Adams. You'd get a million hits for this, but where you've got sort of specific, well, this seems considering. Okay, all right, so you've got 20 uh, magazine articles, 104, let's just go right to the academic journals, because that's probably what you're going to look at. Okay, so actually, this is a pretty good search, corporal punishment in schools, um, Involuntary conduct cannot be punished. So these things, well, and then we've got heart rate anxiety and hardiness <laughs> in skydivers, which has nothing to do with your topic. But some of these, does corporal punishment have a place? So some of these might be useful to you. Um, if you click on that just to show you what the um, articles look like, it'll give you the articles rather brief. And they give you an MLA citation here, but if you go up to here where it says site and you click on that you can go to Chicago which is the other name for Trabian and you can just copy this and you well you want to copy the whole thing but you'll have that whole um, citation right there so that is handy uh, just to go back um, if you want to use a specific one and we'll do US history in, in uh, context um, why don't we look at dun, 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 dun. There might be Malcolm X in here. Um, I did my own senior thesis on Malcolm X. Malcolm X, he's got his own section. So you click on that, and I'm sure you've seen this before. There's sort of a general overview about him. This one comes from uh, the Dictionary of American Biography. Uh, but there are all kinds of, you can look at reference books, videos, academic journals, and again, that's going to be where you get the most bang for your buck for this sort of research. Um, are just all kinds of different things. With the academic journals, the reading level is, is generally pretty high. It's um, a five. This one's a four, <laughs> if you want to take it easy. Um, but at this point, you should be able to uh, navigate those pretty well. Okay, I don't think you probably need much more um, training on uh, the Gale databases. These are the ones that we get through the state. All right, we also have um, Salem Press, which is a um, publisher where we have um, actual physical copies of these books, but we also